This is Bob the Builder, and there's a reason he's wearing hearing protection. That's right. He's introducing the topic of sound and sound dosing. OSHA requires that employers make accurate sound measurements in their places of business to determine whether the workplace is safe for workers. Sound levels should not exceed 90 decibels during an eight-hour work period. For sound levels above 90, reductions in exposure are required with a limit of 15 minutes per day to a sound level of 150 decibels. It also states that no impulse or additional uh, impact noise should exceed 140 decibels. Well, thanks, Bob. And it points out how important it is for us to protect our hearing. This is Stephen Poe, and I'm going to talk to you about sound dosing and the measurement of your exposure. It's kind of a tough thing to uh, get out of our little bit that we have in the textbook, but I wanted to go through a real quick calculation for you uh, because the example that's in the textbook is uh, okay, but the way that it sets it up, it makes it look a little bit different. So I think maybe this will help you out, and uh, hopefully it won't be too difficult for you. We're going to take a look at a sound dose example so that you can hopefully work through the homework assignment. In this example, we're going to have a milling machine that's going to operate for four hours and an air hammer that's going to operate for two hours. Well, first, let's go over to table 11.1 in the text and take a look at that. And for an air hammer, We've got that right here at 100 decibels and then a milling machine right down here for 80 decibels. So those are the two values that we need for this particular problem. So let's write those in here. We've got a milling machine that's going to be 80 decibels and we've got the air hammer at 100 decibels. All right, then we go over to the section on the text. I want to take a look at page 156. It looks something like this. And the when we have a, a, a dose that we want to do a dose level, then we take a look at this equation where the dose is equal to 100 times the C1 divided by T1 plus C2, T2, etc. And C is the total length of the workday in hours, and D is uh, um, the reference level T is uh, calculated with this formula right down here. Okay, but this formula is not the best way to uh, to be represented, and so it's a lot better if you make this correction in your book and say that T is equal to eight divided by t2 raised to the l minus 90 divided by 5 power. And that might help you uh, solve it just a little bit easier than the way that it's written um, in the text right here. OK, so let's go ahead and get started on that. And there's a, a good example worked out in the book, but I'm going to work out this one for you just in case you need a little bit of extra help. So we know that, uh, first of all, we want to calculate the T1 for this example. And the T1 would be for the milling machine. And we'll just write that out here, milling machine T1. And the T1 is then calculated by 8 divided by 2 raised to the 80, which is the decibels, minus 90. This is part of the formula divided by 5. Okay, now let's take a look at your calculator. Right now is a good time to probably do that, and I'll show you mine here. This is not a fancy calculator. This is just a real basic calculator, so I'm going to turn it in. To, to uh, actually calculate this on my calculator, what I have to do is I have to use this little symbol right here. It's a, little, uh, it's a little carrot. So to do this computation, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch in the number 
2, let's see if I can get it all here on the screen, okay, 2, raise to the 80 minus 90, okay, and so in my calculator I have to put that in parentheses, two parentheses, 80, okay, and there it is up there, minus 90, all right, and then I have to close the parentheses and I have to divide it by 5. Okay, and in this example, we come up with 0.25. So in this one, we have 8 divided by 0.25, and that's going to be equal to 32, isn't it? Okay, for the next example, it's, uh, it's the air hammer, and that's T2. T2 is the same type of formula, 2, and in this case, we're going to put 100 in here, so we have 100 minus 90 divided by 5, okay, and uh, hopefully you know how to uh, run the calculator on that one, and I come up with 8 over 4, and that's going to be equal to 2. Okay, and then the last part that we have to do is to plug it into the overall formula, which is D is equal to 100 times, and here's where we do the, uh, the C1 over T1 plus C2 over T2, and that just goes on for as many as uh, you have total, okay? And so that's the formula we're going to plug it into. So in this case, D is equal to C1, the uh, duration is 4 hours, divided by what we calculated for T1, which is 32. And then that's uh, going to be added to, to T2 here, which is 2. So that's the time is 2. We also calculated that T was 2. Okay, so we have 2 over 2, and we have 4 over 32. So that should equal 100, which is in the formula, okay, times 0.125 plus 2 over 2 is 1, so that should equal 112, could get a 12 and a half percent. Okay. That's how the sound dose is calculated. This would exceed the recommendation.